Oh, Doc. Doc! Doc! Oh, Doc! Doc! Oh, are you okay, Doc? We gotta... Oh, my God, we gotta get out of here. Listen. Oh, my, no wonder. Listen, you gotta get out of here, Doc. Please, get up. You can't just lie here and die. Doc, they can't pull you up. Get Lucy. up. Lucy. Yeah. Please, Chris, just give him his picture back. It's not his picture. It's mine. It's a picture of me and my kid brother. So you want to tell me what you're doing with it? Yeah. I'll tell you. It's me. What? Yeah. It's me and my brother. He's after something. I just don't know what it is yet. You finally run into your long lost brother and you think it's a scam. <laughs> That's sad, man. You know something? I can almost buy it. The idea that we're coincidentally in the same place, but with the same girl? I don't think so. It's a little too convenient. You can see that, can't you, Libby? I'm not going anywhere. What difference does it make what I say? I already told you. <sighs> okay. Okay. It's a computer disk with all of Rachel's research on it. I thought you should have it. Why did you even come to the recovery room that night? You must have known that I would be there with my husband and my friends. How could you even think to barge in on it? Eve, All for some stupid it. computer disk. You could I have was... mailed it. You could have left it at GH. Anything. But no, you had to come deliver it in person so I could get in the car with you and blow up. That's enough. I know you want this to be my fault. I understand that, but maybe it isn't. You think this is my fault? I came looking for you. That's all I did. I was looking for you, and I saw you through the window with your husband, and I didn't want to interrupt, so I left. You came after me, so you tell me why. Quit playing games and go. Worrying about you? Looking out for you? He is your brother. You guys are family. Doesn't that mean anything to yeah, you? Yeah, it means a lot to me. Take care of yourself, huh? Thanks a lot. Hey. Uh, I'm sorry if I came on a little strong. I guess we have a lot to talk about, so why don't you come back to my place and we sit down and catch up? I'm talking about this. Where did you get that? It was in your jacket. I was just trying to brush some of the soot off. Doc, I wasn't snooping. It just sort of popped out of the pocket. Sure it did. It did. This is what this is all about, isn't it? This is why you didn't want to come out of the oh, fire, the isn't it, Doc? She said she was working with Ian. I'm an idiot. You're not. Maybe, maybe you're reading a lot more into No, this I'm there not. Was. They kissed. It says so right here. Maybe she was in that car because they were planning to go away together. No, no, that, that's, that's not a possibility. You said yourself you saw them together. Did you know, Lucy? Did you have any idea this was going on? I knew that you and Eve were having trouble. And, and Doc, I also know that she loved you very much, you and only you. Don't you realize that ever since you jumped into my car, I've spent every waking moment wishing that you hadn't? I want out of here, right now. Get me out of here! Somebody get me out now! Okay. No! Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it's not your fault. But I'm, I just wish you weren't here. I wish you were in Port Charles, safe and sound, not here with me. I'm scared. Ian, I am so scared. Go on. I'm here. Eve. Stand by me, oh, stand, 
Stand by me. It's another beautiful day. Says who? Well, I guess I don't have to ask how you're doing this morning. You know, if you want our best work, you should really do something about the facilities around here. Is the mattress lumpy, princess? We could use another bed. <laughs> Care to share the joke? Oh, your friends are right, Thorheart. Uh, first time I ever heard a request for separate beds from a whore. <coughs> your Jack, who's actually our Jack, who's my Chandler, is Chris Ramsey's brother? Except I just wish that the two of them could get along because I just like them both so much. Because they're both, you know, both pretty hot. <laughs> Yeah, Chris and Jack are both cute. That's the easy part. Hey, so how did you guys hook up in the first place? <laughs> what, your face is turning red. What is that? I didn't know he was in the river, and he didn't know I was on the shore. And when he came out of the water, he was totally naked. What? Oh, my <laughs> God, shut up. Are you serious? It's not like I saw anything. Hey. I mean, I just, I closed my eyes and turned away, and all I wanted to do was run. Yeah, like towards him. <laughs> But you didn't, did you? No, I, I didn't. He was so sweet and odd. Yeah, what a nice icebreaker. Hello, I have no pencil. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> but it's been so incredible. I mean, we have this amazing connection where we understand each other mm -hmm. without the, I don't even know how to describe no, it. No, you don't have to, because Jamal and I had the same thing, so I, I totally understand what you're talking about. But on the other hand, Chris is like totally freaked out. He doesn't trust Jack at all. But they're brothers. And they don't act like it. I mean, I'm an only child, and I always thought having a brother or sister meant having someone you can count on forever. <laughs> you know, all those years, I always wondered what it would be like when we finally came back together again. <laughs> Gotta tell you, it's nothing like this. Sorry to disappoint you. You don't give a rat's ass. You made that clear from the moment you saw me. You didn't recognize who I was. And you still don't know me. You're a small town punk hustler who's just working an ankle. Yeah, I used to. And that's how I got through. And then Mom and I found each other again. And we became a part of something, a family. And that changed everything. That's all she wanted for us, was, was to find your brother. That was her dying wish, was find your brother. Be a family again. Well, there I am, Chris. Now it's your move. I cannot believe that you actually think this is good for you. I thought you'd be proud of me. Proud of you? Proud of you for what? Finishing off a whole fifth before breakfast? Oh, I'm following your wisdom, Lucy. I I'm getting out. I'm, I'm seeing, seeing old friends. Life's a party, Lucy. You have to be conscious to enjoy it. Is that a comment on my sobriety? <laughs> no, no, I am just saying there are a lot of other ways to move forward, to put one foot in front of the other. You're absolutely right. Come on. Where are we going? We're going dancing. Oh, Doc. Come no, on. Lucy, you're telling me to put one foot in front of the other. Well, I can do that right here on the dance floor, and I'm not taking no for an answer. Okay, if this is what you want to do, this is what we'll do. What? Am I that bad or something? No, you're a wonderful dancer. You've always been a wonderful dancer. But, Doc, listen to me. You're pushing yourself way, Lucy, way too hard. Lucy, you can't have it both ways. You don't have to do this, okay? Yes, I do. No, you don't. This I is can your handle song this. With Abe. No, you I can't. Can, what, Doc, you can't? Ha handle this? Is Honestly, no, I can't. I, I can't pretend that this is you, that this is okay. I can't pretend it's okay that you almost killed us in that fire because you drank too much and now you polluted yourself so much this morning that you want to dance. No, I can't handle it, okay? Are you going to try and change me again? <sighs> oh, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you home and put you to bed and you're going to go to sleep, okay? And I'm not taking no for an answer. Come on. Hold on. You will never, ever say another word about the lady. Is that clear? <clears throat> Let's not kid ourselves, Thornhart. Yeah, you know she's not a... You don't know, do you? 
Oh, you forgot to share your colorful history with him, didn't you? You lion scum. Ah, uh, confession time, princess. He's telling the truth, Ian. I used to be a prostitute. Where when you leave? <laughs> I'm just curious, but uh, is it success that makes you paranoid, or were you born that way? It's in our genes, Jack. Trust no one. No. No, see, Mom was never that cynical. She'd have hated this. Maybe it was a good thing she died before we found you. Well, that's a pretty lousy thing to say. You know, she had this whole idea of you, Chris. Thought you were the smart one. Why didn't you try to find me? Hey, she said she'd drive across the country if she had to. There are online services, private investigators. Private investigators. <laughs> you really don't get this, do you? We were scraping for burgers. All right, so how in the hell are we supposed to afford some computer or hire some PI to come find you? Okay, fine. Oh, well, well, how well, much? What's this? How much is it going to cost me to make you drift away from Port Charles? I don't want any of your offerings, big brother. And I'm going to walk out of here. But I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Hell, I'm ready. I don't care who you were or what you did. He will not talk to you in that way. You're pushing it, Thornhart, considering the circumstances. No, you're pushing it. Years. You need both of us to fight this disease, so I suggest you back off. You are in no position to be threatening me. Let me make this perfectly clear. You insult Eve, and you die. You have work to do in the lab. Don't let me stop you. Ian. Hey, he's just I'm... trying to get you. Uh, put it out of your mind. I've seen that look on a man's face before. I know what he wants. And it's only a matter of time before he tries to get it. Come on. Wait, wait. Just a second. Just a second. OK, good. Now I want you to go sit on that couch over there. Go sit. Sorry, let's see. My obedient days are over. No, 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 no. First, you're going to sit, then you're going to eat, and then you're going to go to I sleep. I don't want to sit or eat, and I don't want to sleep. I want to dance. Oh, Doc, no. No, no, I like dancing with you. Don't you like dancing with me? Uh, I love dancing with you, but now is not the time. Oh, I'm surprised at you. You try and name a better time. I dare you. Oh, brother. OK, one dance. One, one dance. All right, we'll just make our own music like we used to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. Champagne. We should have some champagne. It's Tuesday, isn't it? We could celebrate no, no, Tuesday. No, you know, you're just, you're not yourself, Doc. Right oh, I never felt more like myself. But with everything that's happened, you know, what? you need to Are you just... saying that you don't like this, Lucy? Are you saying that we don't fit? No, but... But no. nothing. This is us. This is you and me. We were great. Oh, we were great. We were better than great, Lucy. Doc. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, Doc. Oh, no. Doc, wait. No. Don't. Don't go. Soapnet, devoted to soaps and you. Your problem is, OK, is that you trust Chris, but Chris doesn't trust Jack. But Jack makes you go weak in the knees, and that kind of plops okay, judgment. Okay, 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 okay. So what are you saying? You just need to trust your instincts. I am I am not even sure what my instincts are saying. So then maybe you should just give yourself a break from both of them. Just long enough so that you can listen to what your heart is telling you. No, you're right. Okay, cool. So then we'll talk again. You know, maybe we can go to the mall or something. Yeah, I'd like that. Yeah, me too. Okay, so incoming. Um, think and breathe. 
I can breathe. I can breathe. And now I gotta try and picture him not sopping wet and weak. Stop it! Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. How'd it go with Chris? Like I expected. What, did you guys have another fight again? Not exactly. Look, hey, why don't we go someplace? Take a walk or something, you know, so we can talk. Yeah, that, God, that sounds like a really good idea. But you know what? I I have to get back to Lucy's place because I have some stuff I have to take care oh, of. Oh, you have to go now? I really do. Okay? Uh, but if you just give me a call later, I would love to do something. Okay? Bye. Yeah, listen, I have a job for you. No, I have a problem, an old one. I don't know what to say. It just sort of caught up with me after a lot of years. Can you meet me at my place? Yeah, no, as soon as you can. I want to make this go away now. No, we might want to try a less acidic medium. That last culture obviously didn't take. What? Tell me what you saw in Harris' face. <sighs> Human nature. I used to tell myself that what I did for a living didn't matter. It doesn't matter. Not to anyone who knows you. Thanks. But I've seen that look in a man's face before. When he knows that you've slept with people for money. He looks at you different. Like he can own you. Every man. There have been exceptions. I married one of them. I will kill Harris if he touches you. Look, you don't have to defend me, Ian. We all have a past. We did what we had to do at the time. They have no right to judge you. Oh, but they do. Well, then let them. They're sad, boring little lives. Whatever you did has made you who you are today. And who you are is Anne, a brave, strong, wonderful woman. Don't let them take away one second of your life, OK? You're an incredible doctor. You're an incredible woman. And whatever it took to get you there, that's your badge of honor. Don't let him take it away. Please. Don't stop there. It's just getting interesting. So, Dr. Lambert, let's get back to work so we can get out of this dump and get you back in your husband's arms. Right. That's the idea. You are drunk. Yes, I am, Lucy. But I know what I want. This is absolutely not right. You said you wanted to help me. I, I do. Then help me now. Tell me what you want me to do. I need you. I need to feel you. Touch you. Remember all those places that used to be mine.
June for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. Look, I don't want my girl to find out what I'm doing, all right? So I've been thinking about a romantic getaway. I can't. Well, Doc, no. it's so wrong. No, it no, is, no. it is so wrong. No. It's wrong. Stop it! Stay away from her! 